Hal Finney is a true pioneer. He was the first person to run the software of Bitcoin after Satoshi Nakamoto and was a key developer during the first year of life of this cryptocurrency. Hal Finney was born on May 4, 1956 in Colinga, California. He graduated in computer engineering from the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, in 1979. He later began working as a video game developer working on titles known as Astro Blast and Space Attack. He then went on to collaborate on PGP, Pretty Good Privacy, of Phil Zimmerman, who signed him shortly after. About Bitcoin, Hal Finney is known for being the one who most supported this cryptocurrency in its beginnings. After Satoshi published the white paper, Finney was a staunch defender of the project, so much so that the existing evidence clearly indicates that after Satoshi, he was the first person to download and execute the Bitcoin client. On January 12, 2009, he received 10 Bitcoins from Satoshi in the first Bitcoin transaction. During Bitcoin's first year of life crossed many emails with Satoshi to correct errors in the code. One of his publications ended up being fundamental for Bitcoin, Specifically in 2004, he published RPOW, a review of Hashcash. Previously, in 1993, he published a study about detecting double spend and another about digital cash and privacy. Until the arrival of Bitcoin, he collaborated on various crypto mailing lists and is one of the founders and most influential people in the movement cypherpunk. Hal Finney was always interested and committed to crypto and privacy issues, but it is from the creation of the cypherpunk mailing list that he begins to express his reflections on the subject more assiduously and focus fully on this field. One of his most notable contributions at the beginning of the cypherpunk movement was the creation, along with Eric Hughes, from the first anonymous remailer. This remailer is called Typei and is known as Cypherpunk Remailer and which was used for this group's mailing list. Sometimes people pay a price for being extremely intelligent, they have deficiencies in some emotional quality. Hall was not like that, Philip Zimmerman told the New York Times about Hal Finney. On October 5, 2009, published a letter called Dying Outside, where he explains that he has ALS. Despite the disease, at no time did he stop programming or put aside working on Bitcoin. Hal Finney's emotions and thinking about his experience with Bitcoin were reflected for the story in his well-known public letter, Bitcoin and Me. This was his last post and also his farewell. Hal Finney, a member of Alcor, a 1436 who chose the full-body option, was declared legally deceased on August 28. 2014 at 8.50 a.m. at the age of 58 in Scottsdale, Arizona. That same day, Hal became Alcor's 128th patient. Hal paid for his cryopreservation by combining his life insurance and fan-donated bitcoins. His wife, Fran, also has agreements to cryopreserve herself. She is glad to have the opportunity to see him again sometime in the future when they return in restored and rejuvenated bodies. What do you think about Hall Finney's story? Comment your thoughts below.